welcome to the Dark Knight Road of Gamers channel here on YouTube. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. With all that being said, let's get right to the video. All right, welcome everybody back to the Dark Knight Rider Games channel here on YouTube. Today, of course, is Atari Wednesdays. I know I haven't done an Atari Wednesdays episode in a while, um, so we're back with this. It's, it's going to be a big episode. We're going to have a lot of stuff to cover today, so let's get right into it. Um, so the first thing we're going to talk about is the news that Atari has acquired over 100 titles, um, some of which are part of Intellivision, which is very interesting. Um, I think these are the M games, uh, if I'm not mistaken. But um, it's very interesting that they've acquired more titles, that they can do remakes and recharge titles and stuff like that. And it's very good to see this, that Atari's still um, coming out strong with some titles that they're working on and stuff. Um, a lot of these arcade classics are um, making their comebacks, and I think it's great that we're doing this i think it helps um give a younger generation a little bit of an idea of what it was like then and giving them something new and fresh from back then and something they can play and enjoy um so it's really cool what atari's been doing i uh, hope they keep up with the good work with this and so and that they're keeping you know the atari vcs you know um alive you know with the fact that they're still putting games on that platform so on the system and everything which is great um but yeah we're gonna talk about a game now that i'm going to show a trailer for you all and then we're going to discuss it um after this but we're gonna get to the video in a second but i'm we're talking about the trailer for mr jump and run so this is an old atari title um, that is being reimagined, um, and it's coming soon. We don't know exactly when, but it is coming soon. It'll be on the Atari VCS, of course, and it'll also be on other platforms as well. Um, so with that being said, let's get right into the video and show you the trailer, and then we'll discuss more after this. <laughs> So we just got back from watching that trailer. Um, I have to say this is awesome that they're continuing to make uh, games and all that. You know, so it's it's interesting. I do have to say the concept of this, um, the design of the game, the platforms, the platform itself, uh, how it's all set up. It kind of gives you vibes of Combinera. Because, you know, the spikes on the ground and that stuff. Um, even though this is not going to be like a puzzle-based game like the Common Era was. But um, it looks very interesting. I'm like, I'm digging the neon stuff. I can t I like what they've been doing with the neon stuff with Atari, uh, with the games. Um, this is not a recharge title. This is more of a, um, one of their, um, like, remakes um, titles, so, very interesting, I'm very, I can't wait to play this, um, I'm also glad they're continuing to support the Atari VCS, that is something I am very happy that they're still doing, um, we know they're not, um, producing any more of them, but, as of right now, we don't know, I mean, they could be still, they could be looking for somebody else to produce their, 
systems, but who knows. Um, but other than that, I love the fact that they're still supporting um, and the fact that they're making more games. They just acquired, you know, 100 more um, titles. And some of them are, like I said in the first part of this video, some of them are in television titles. So it's it's very interesting um, about all this stuff that's going on. But we're also going to go ahead and check out another trailer for another game that's coming out soon also. It's... It's not going to be on the Atari VCS. It's not going to be on the PS5, you know, PS4, Xbox Series X and S, or the Xbox One platform. It's going to be on VR, and it's the Pixeled Ripped 1978. I played the first game they came out with. Uh, it was very interesting. And now they've actually acquired an opportunity to be put in that game because it actually has Atari involved in it. Uh, so let's go check it out. My name is Barbara, but you can call me Bug. I just started a new job at this place called Atari. They've been working on this cool new thing called video games. Feels like it's really gonna catch on. Electronic games being this year's bestseller. No other video game company stacks up to Atari. I'm building a brand new game. Oh, and this is Dot. I created her. Isn't she rad? It's a little rough around the edges. Glitches, broken code, stuff like that. It's not all fun and games being a programmer. So I invented this nifty device that allows me to go into the game. You know, patch things up from the inside. Good thing I've got Dot, because sometimes the bugs can be a real problem. Looks like I've got my work cut out for me. Good thing it's 1978 and this technology is on the cutting edge. So we just got done watching the trailer for Pixel Ripped 1978. I am very much looking forward to that also. Um, I will be definitely posting that here on the channel when it does come out. Um, it is unfortunately just a VR title, so it will not be on the VCS or any other platforms. The only platforms that I know it's gonna be on is the PC for VR and um, PlayStation VR 2 and of course the Meta Quest 2. Um, I do plan on posting more meta stuff here on the channel too with the VR stuff. But um, I'm very much looking forward to that. I like the first one they came out with. And I like that they're telling like a prequel story about how Dot is became a character with this um, somebody that's working for Atari and making the game, which it's I love the fact that they're bringing Atari involved in this new one, and it's really cool. It gives it that nostalgia feel and really helps, I think. It'll help the series, I think, in a way, um, by making this prequel story that has ties with Atari and all that stuff, which I'm, I'm really glad that, you know, we're starting to see a more nostalgia-type content coming out, you know, with the whole Atari being back. Um, unfortunately, you know, I still have to say this, and this is, does kind of suck that, um, we still haven't got in television, um, but, um, like I said, I hopefully, hopefully, Atari is maybe working on a deal with in television. I think it would be best, maybe, if they just buy a bunch of their titles over and put them on the Atari platform. I think that would be a good thing. I think it would help in television. 
um, if Atari would, like, if they would come together and decide to work together on stuff. Um, I think it would really help them out better. But place your comments down below. Let me know what you think about that. Um, what do you think about Atari and a television coming together and making stuff for the Atari platform? Um, with that being said, thanks for watching. And like always, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I'll see you in the next one. And oh, there's a little extra video at the end of this. So hope you like it. Take care. I'm Howard Scott Warshaw. I was an Atari game designer and programmer. And I am responsible for Atari's most famous and most infamous titles. So we're just rolling live now. Working at Atari in the early 80s was, it was being on top of the world and nobody saw the crash coming. To tell you the truth, it all started with bug. Not, not like a software bug, an amazing programmer named Barbara Rivers, but we all knew her as bug. She's the one who programmed Pixel Rip. It was like she lived in the game. It's like, you know, we're trying to make a game. She's coming from out of the game to tell us what she's doing. That was so wild. Interesting, but welcome home, Dark Knight Rider Games. Thank you to be able to customize.